Good evening. She's celebrating some of the laws that passed, but the governor says not enough was done at the end of this 30 day session. News 13's Natalie Wattis has been covering the session from the beginning and is live in the roundhouse after hearing from lawmakers today. Jessica, the governor from the beginning has called this a public safety focused session, but lawmakers disagree on whether they got enough done. Us Democrats are proud to have delivered for New Mexico this session. But I think the other issue, frankly, is what didn't get done in the session that New Mexico is demanding. Uh, the Democrats on the other side have a great majority and yet there weren't any real meaningful crime issues solved. Bills the governor backed as part of her public safety agenda. Only a handful made it through like the seven day waiting period for gun purchases and increasing penalties for second degree murder. Now lawmakers did manage to pass a record $10.2 billion budget. That's up nearly 7% from last year. And it highlighted big investments in things like infrastructure, education and housing. But the governor said today she's frustrated with the lack of crime and gun bills that made it through. It's not off the table that we have a public safety um, special session. I want to just say to New Mexicans, uh, I don't think it's safe out there. And I don't think that they think it's safe out there because it plays out horrifically every single day. Um, and until it is safe in every neighborhood and in every city, I don't think any of our jobs are done. The governor didn't say when that session could happen. For now, she has until March 6th to sign the bills that did make it to her desk. Back to you. All right, thank you, Natalie. The governor says over the next three weeks, she'll evaluate what public safety bills could be addressed. She emphasized legislation around rules tied to mental competency evaluations for criminal suspects.